Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of 1 John, uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, and it reads, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. When I was growing up, my mom used to always caution us about who you hang out with, who you run with, who you choose as your friends. Don't you know that birds of a feather flock together? And sometimes if you hang out with, as they would say, if you run with the dogs, you might get fleas. So be careful who you hang out with, that their behavior might be transferred over to you. You might begin to practice the things that they do. That is the concern of any parent when their child is out and about is that they choose the right friend. Notice what our text says here. It begins with the word but. But if we walk in the light, but but always kind of points to what came before it. Notice what came before it, and it says this, verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him, that is God. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie in the, and we, in the truth. We do not practice the truth. <laughs> we lie and we do not practice the truth. Don't you know that you can't say that you're walking in the light and in darkness at the same time? You can't say that you're in fellowship with God and in fellowship with the world at the same time. They are opposite. Darkness and light are not the same thing. Earlier it says that God is light, and in him there is no darkness. Yes, the purity and the absolute truth and everything that God represents is light. It is in him. He is light. And if we're in the light, if we're walking in the light, which is an indication that we're continuing to move forward in something, we didn't just start out in the light, but we are continuing in the light. And so if we are walking in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And in the blood of Jesus Christ, it cleanses us. Don't you know that there is an expectation that when you're in Christ, that you're not walking and practicing the things of the world? For he is light. He is the light that came into the world. He is the reflection for us of who the invisible God is. And in him, we see all the, we see truth and we see purity, we see joy and we see hope and we see uh, faithfulness. And these are the things that often reflect in our lives as we're walking in the light. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse and it would be a word of encouragement to you today as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a safe day and then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> as we consider today's verse. Amen.